and welcome to Runlet Middle School. We're located in Concord, New Hampshire and have about 940 students that attend. This is our wonderful principal, Miss Fitzgerald, with a few words of wisdom. Hey Lucy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks for introducing me and telling our audience about Runlet Middle School. You're right, we have about 940 kids, which is a pretty big middle school for New Hampshire. We have grades 6, 7th, and 8th. Um, and each grade is divided into clusters. So if you're a sixth grader, you might have two teachers. One teacher would teach math and science, and one teacher would teach social studies and language arts. And then as you go into seventh and eighth grade, the clusters are a little larger. But we don't want to forget about exploratories. Those are fun. So if you are in elementary school, they might be called your specials teachers. But here at Renlet, there are, are they are our exploratory teachers, and they include music and health and art and PE mm -hmm. and tech ed. Am I leaving any out, Lucy? Uh, well, there's also like chorus and band, orchestra, there you go. et cetera. Right. So we're a big school, but we try to make it feel pretty small. We try. Mm -hmm. So during the day, we have lots of things going on. We have an I &E block, intervention and enrichment. And so if you need extra help or you need enrichment, then that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, our lunches sometimes are pretty big, but they're fun, especially when one of our assistant principals starts singing, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always a lot of fun. We also have lots of after-school activities. We have a 21C program, so if you need to stay after school, there are lots of clubs and things going on. Um, and I think you had asked me before the interview about what my job was, mm -hmm. right? Well, my job is kind of a lot of things um, that make the day go by really quickly. Mm -hmm. So we help support teachers, we help support kids. That's our main priority, right? The kids. Um, and so we do lots of different things from managing the budget to looking at our schedule to, oh my goodness, if there's a delayed opening, we have to make sure that schedule goes out, uh, planning lots of fun activities like our student recognition assemblies, things mm -hmm. like that, lots of other details. But I really rely on the other teachers and staff here to help me. So I don't do it all alone, that's for sure. Thank you so much, Ms. Fitzgerald, and thank you for visiting us here at RMS and enjoy the rest of your tour as current students show you around our school. And don't forget to stop by and meet us. Hi, I'm Cameron. Welcome to the fun office. This is where you must check in as a visitor at Lunlet. You can also stop here if you have any questions or if you need to call home. This is where announcements are made, and this is... This is where Mr. Diamond stands, and you can make appointments to see with Mrs. Roy to see Mrs. Fitzgerald, our principal. Thanks for stopping in. See you around. Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm here to talk about guidance we have here at RMS. Here at RMS, we have five guidance counselors. They are Mrs. Trefethen in the 200 wing, Mrs. Herbert in the 300 wing, Mrs. Weeks in the 100 wing, Mr. Pediman in the 200 wing, and Mrs. Hoy in the main office. You can go to Guidance for any troubles you're having at home or at school. They can also help with scheduling. Hi, this is our special ed department, and this is our special ed secretary, Ms. Vincent. Hi. Our student services department has a Best Buddies program. It helps students make friends and learn about each other. Hi, my name is Alex, and this is the 100 wing for sixth graders. If you're not in this, if you're not in sixth grade, this is not really the place for you. There are sixth grade classes in the 200 wing too. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Hi, welcome to the 200 wing. This is where some of the sixth grade classrooms are as well as one seventh grade cluster. Although you're not supposed to be near the sixth grade part if you're a seventh grader. The sixth grade classes that are here are 6-1, 6-2, and 6-3. This is Mr. Bozeman, our assistant principal, who will gladly help you in trying to find your classes or answer any other uh, questions you have. <laughs> That's all for now. I'll see you around. Welcome to RMS. I look forward to meeting all the brand new Blue Dukes in our Blue Duke Nation. Welcome to Runlet. Hello, my name is Joyce and welcome to the 300. Let me tell you a little about this place. This wing is where the 8th and 7th graders have their social studies and language arts classes. They also have their lockers up here. 
This spring is distributed only to the 8th and 7th grade. Sorry, no 6th grade is allowed. The 8th grade counties counselor, Mrs. Herbert's office, also. To get up here, you may use the two staircases on either side of the way. Here is our fun and fabulous assistant principal, Mrs. Barker, whose office is also up here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Barker. Welcome to Runlet Middle School. I'll be looking for you in the cafeteria, the hallways, and up here. Be sure to stop by and say hi. Be sure to use the amazing water fountain because seriously, it's the best in the building. And there is also an elevator up here if you need it. Thanks for stopping in. See you around. Bye. Hello, Blue Dune Nation. This is Morgan Kittredge here speaking to you from the nurse's office. This is where you will come when you need medication, don't feel well, or in pain. Our wonderful nurses are Mrs. Laney and Mrs. Stewart. Hopefully you won't have to spend a lot of time here. But if you do, our wonderful nurses will help you stay healthy and safe. Welcome to the Media Center. This is the place to be when you need a quiet place to read, work on a project, study a topic, or research. Here in the Media Center, we have tons of books, magazines, daily newspapers, student printer, comfy reading areas, and activities going on throughout the day. Here in the Media Center, you have to come down here on a pass during I need from lunch or with your entire class for a lesson. Here in the Media Center, we have a computer lab and makerspace lab. But usually, we do Google Expedition in there, which is a really cool virtual experience that you can do groups or with your entire class. Also in the library, we have Mrs. O'Brien and Mrs. Mulcairn. Mrs. O'Brien is the media specialist and Mrs. Mulcairn is the media assistant. They help students and staff find books they will love. And here in the Media Center, we have over 20,000 books. Well, hope to see you here, because this is the best place in the school. Can't wait to see you all. See you soon. Welcome to the court hard. This is a place out, outside to read and do projects. During the winter, we don't go out there as much as snow and cold, such as now, but some days your teacher will take you outside to sit in lawn chairs and do work in the sun or shade. This area is completely blocked in too. In the warmer months, there's also a relaxing story walk for everyone to see. It's an enlarged picture book with every page posted separately along a path. You can get here from the library. If you just checked out a book, you can check out the courtyard. Hope to see you there. Welcome to the 400 Wing. Here at the 400 Wing, we have the tech support room, the world languages, and all of your science classes. For world languages, we offer French with Mr. Page, Spanish with Mrs. Horn, German with Mrs. Ernst, and Latin with Mrs. McDonough. My name is Jafet. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the cafeteria. And this is where we eat our breakfast and lunch. And the runner of the cafeteria is Joe, and he makes the best soup. Come and join us. Welcome to the 600 Wing. You would come here if you had an exploratory, a band, chorus, orchestra, or music. You get to choose to do band, orchestra, or chorus, but you don't have to. You'll just do music. Here we have Mrs. Carson, the band teacher. Mr. T is the orchestra teacher and sometimes the music teacher. Same with Mr. Green, who is the chorus teacher and sometimes the music teacher. And Dr. Varga, who is the orchestra teacher, sometimes band teacher, and music teacher. Welcome to the 500 wing. This is where the art rooms, tech ed rooms, health rooms, and special ed rooms are. Be sure to check out the Best Buddies program and the Underwater Robotics when you come here. Thanks for stopping in. See you around. Hi, welcome to the Art Rooms. The Art Rooms are located at the end of the 500 wing as Doran talked about earlier in the tour. We do a lot of fun things in art and if you want to take your art a step forward, I really do recommend you check out the National Art Honors Junior Society which, as said before, is a society where young artists get together and do assignments that the art teachers have provided. It's really fun. I recommend that you do it. Also, every time there's a new quarter in art, you have a chance to get your art into the art show. That's pretty much it, and I hope to see you in art soon. Welcome to the gym. Hi, my name is Hassan. This is where your gym classes will take place. You will do a lot of fun things in this class, but make sure to bring an extra change in clothes and make sure to also put on deodorant at the end. 
We and if you need to put on an extra change in shoes. We have a main we have a main gym and a little gym called the Nard, the new activity room. You have gym you have gym once a once one quarter every year up to three quarters. We, we do tournaments like wolf ball, soccer, and frisbee. May, we do also other fun sports. Welcome to the new activity room, also known as the NAR. This is where Runlet Middle School has their school assemblies, honor roll recognition, sports, and other activities. All the events we participate in the NAR are fun. Be sure to check out the PEG performances. I hope you have a fun time in the NAR. See you around. Hi, my name is Trent Urban and I am here to talk about the buses here at RMS. Here at RMS, we have people who can help you find your bus in case you cannot. These people are Mr. Wimpy, administrators, and about 10 teachers. If you cannot find your bus, you can go to any adult you see for help. Buses come in two different tiers. There's first, there's tier one, which is dismissed first, and there's tier two, which is dismissed a few minutes later. When you leave the school, look for the line of people that go on your bus, or you go straight to your bus. If your bus is second tier, you will see a teacher holding up numbers on a sign. If you see the number of your bus, then go stand in front of that sign.